Welcome to Romero Cleveland Studios. I am Romero Cleveland and today I'm going to show you how I made this awesome Gold Leaf X-Men Forever Wall Clock so you can make something great to personalize your space to. For this project I used a 14 by 14 canvas that I got from Michaels, a clock mechanism that I got from Amazon, gold gilding flakes, cardstock, glue stick, tape, craft knife, and face mask, which you're going to need for the gilding flakes because they get in the air a little bit. So let's get started with the time lapse. I'm actually going to watch this the same time as you guys and do like a director's commentary type video so that you get the good and the bad. What not to do, what you can do, substitutions you can make because you, you may want to try shortcuts and whatnot. This was my first time using gilding flakes, so I did try a couple different things just to get a, at an actual studio project I need to get better at them for. So we first thing you want to do is mark your canvas, uh, mark it in the center, then mark it at the three, six, nine, and 12 o'clock. Um, and so I printed out, I uh, found an X, a Wolverine font online and printed out X-Men Forever. And you see how I started it. Started at the 10, went around, and then started at the at the 9 with the Forever. You can start your message anywhere you want. The I'm Jedi Knight, that was the clock idea was actually for, uh, I have a Star Wars collection uh, in my, port my portfolio. Um, that was for a giveaway that I wanted to do. And when I did it, originally, I started it at the one and went all the way around. When doing this, I, when doing this clock, I realized you can start the message anywhere, anywhere you want. Maybe you wanted to start at the top, so you have two words going six and six o'clock going down. Start it anywhere you want. This is a great project to do for uh, maybe your school or maybe your music musical group, maybe your favorite actor, or maybe your favorite video game or your favorite just anything. Your workplace. This is just a great, great, uh, great, great option. To add, to add your own flair. So here uh, I tried Elmer's glue first. Elmer's glue you don't want to use. You want to use a tacky, tacky glue so that it sticks. It needs to be sticky. You need to be able to feel it with your fingers. Elmer's glue isn't it. So I put on the Elmer's glue and you need it to be sticky too also. It needs to be wet. So I, it just didn't work. It was started, started to dry too quickly and then it slid around. So I just took a damp cloth, wiped it away and I uh, had to reverse it because now glue was on the surface and you could see it so that's why the entire surface is covered. So printed out the um, font again or the text again and now I'm putting the text directly on the, uh, the canvas. And good times huh? <laughs> Are <laughs> we just sitting waiting? Uh, can you can you hurry it up there, buddy? <laughs> uh, I guess maybe I'll talk about gilding uh, gilding flakes a little bit. Gilding flakes. Uh, imagine gilding flakes are like a fish flake, um, a fish flake that you that you dab onto a surface. You don't uh, you don't smear it. Don't rub it because it, it rolls into uh, it rolls into balls, which you don't want. You want it to be a nice, smooth, even surface. It does provide texture, but that's too much texture. So here I am straightening out the letters. Uh, so you've got your canvas, you have it marked at all, all the points. You have your um, letters, you put your letters on there where you want them. You want to make sure they're all even and then you uh, use the tape to secure them. And now I'm using the glue stick, just the regular glue stick. and smearing it on the canvas and then taking the uh, it looks like I'm rubbing in the time lapse but I'm not I'm not it's just, I'm picking them up them up and dabbing them actually so you know I might be actually because that's where I learned this was like I said the first project that I did with uh, the gilding place so I might I might be rubbing and that's where I learned oh don't do that because that screws up your project <laughs> that screws up your uh, your your piece <laughs> And don't mind the letters, the O's and the R. I didn't do the inside of them because this was for me, really. But this is a great, great option to personalize for you. You can do anything you want. And it's so, so inexpensive. Let's see, like the canvas was probably $2. Uh, you can get if it's multi-pack. It's a multi-pack from Michaels you can get or, you know, online. Uh, five below at the dollar store they have canvases. So you can get a canvas anywhere, really. Um, 
what else was there? There was the clock mechanism, uh, which I'll talk. I'll tell you how that works, which is super super easy. Um, that was actually is a two pack on Amazon, two for eight dollars. So that was actually cheaper than the gilding flakes, which were about six dollars, five six dollars on Amazon. I don't want to put any links on on anything because. Um, they, they'll just be dead if the item is moved or, or changed or whatever. So just do searches for for these items. Um, and then, you know, just a small stuff. Paintbrush, what, a dollar? Scissors, a dollar. I see tape down there, a dollar, you know. So at the most, $20 for a wonderful, wonderful collection to your, to your, a wonderful piece to your collection or a wonderful just new home decor item for your space. Just imagine this for anything you want. Anything you want. And then you see, I don't know how long, I don't remember how long this took. Probably an hour. Probably a full hour. Not very long because it, it is almost like glitter. It's just a little more, it's a little more involved than glitter. So probably an hour for everything. You put the gilding flakes on there. Once you do the front, you want to do the top, bottom, and sides. Remember to do all sides. And then let it dry. Once you do that, then like the clock mechanism will pop right in and pop right out. I mean, if you want, and then when I say pop in, I mean the mechanism itself. And when I say pop right out, I mean, if you want to change the hands, it's psh, before you know it, it'll be done. And everyone will go, where'd you get that? I love it. And you'll go, I made it. Get out of my face. <laughs> you can't buy one. This is custom, bro. Custom. So, uh, so now I'm just finishing up the, uh, the, uh, canvas and the clock mechanism like I said it's super easy much easier than I thought this is the whole thing here each hand fits on a specific post I'll just take them all off see that's the mechanism there see the bigger one see how big that hole is that fits right down onto the biggest post and the minute hand that fits down onto the next post the one right there in the middle so you really can't mess it up and I dropped the second hand uh, so I won't go down and I can't get but that fits right in you see that in the middle that fits right there in the center So you can't really can't mess it up. I just watched a YouTube video on uh, clock, mechanisms, clock mechanisms and how they how they worked um, To get it to work and the video is over <laughs> uh, And before you know it it was what the video was 10 minutes long didn't need the whole 10 minutes <laughs> Just had it working on my own in, in no time uh, so, uh, yeah, see, that's how we're all done here. I do hope this video has inspired you to unleash your creativity and to try something new. Uh, give this project a try. It really is fun. It really is easy. Something great to do with the kids. Get uh, the whole family involved if you want. Um, remember, at Vermeer Cleveland Studios, I'm always here to provide you with creative tutorials and new ideas. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time.